Hello everyone and welcome to Paper Pleats and Ribbon Roses. Today I have this great little birthday card um, that I'd like to show you and there are a couple of things on here um, that I'm going to go through in this video. Uh, we have some great new products in the uh, new fall winter idea book from Close to My Heart um, with some wonderful new embellishments. I just love the little bling. Um, these brads, um, we have some pins and little um, dangles, um, all kinds of fun stuff. And great new paper packs with a, a cardstock weight uh, paper. So I did a little bit of altering to some of the embellishments and I wanted to um, show you how I did that. As well, um, I made this paper rose. Um, Close to My Heart has come out with a, a wonderful new Cricut um, cartridge exclusive to Close to My Heart. Unfortunately, I don't own a Cricut yet, so I'm still making my paper flowers by hand. Um, so I will just show you some of the adjustments that I made to uh, my paper roses that I do have a pictorial tutorial on on my blog. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you, oh, and I just wanted to show you this little um, dangle here. Um, it comes in a in clear sort of um, a grayish tone, and and then also. Um, sort of a yellowish tone but I wanted to do a black one so I altered the color of it so you see it comes uh, this color this is a great little it's called the heirloom assortment and it comes with six little dangles um, charms and it comes with six of these resin flowers which I think you can probably alter them slightly too if you want um, if the color isn't quite right so and also the pins um, if you see the original pins are white pearl and um, they come in a great little assortment called the bling assortment and it has six of these uh, white pearl pins um, and these little crystal buttons awesome all right so I adjusted the color on these accessories by using liquid glass and um, a reinker. I happen to use a stays on reinker. I couldn't find my black, uh, regular black reinker, and I thought stays on might be a, a good option for um, adhering to um, these non porous items. So, what you do, let's move these aside, is just put some liquid glass in a container. Now, I put the, you can use a little, um, craft jar if you want, um, but just any kind of little disposable container will work. So just a, a small amount, um, depending on what you're using or making. And then I put about, um, I don't know, seven or eight drops, probably doesn't need quite that much, of stays on, of the reinker. Again, you can use any color and then just use a toothpick and mix it together now I know your first reaction would be to um, just dip uh, these products into the uh, liquid glass colored liquid glass however I did try that um, you get far too much um, liquid glass on it it's hard to control and then what it does it starts to sort of drip down so what I found was I, I have a, a brush here a paintbrush and I just um, carefully painted it on sort of start out with a thin layer first and put a little more on Again, you don't want to get excess on it because it will start to puddle. You'll get drips on it um, if you dip it in or if you put too much on. So then what I did um, was I just stuck the pin in a piece of foam like that and let it dry. So you do the same thing um, with the little charm just clean my brush here because I'm not going to paint the charm. Um, 
again with a brush now what you need to do is the charm comes with a brad so take the brad off don't hold it by the brad I did that and my charm fell right into the um, liquid glass and I ended up with too much liquid glass and as it dried it kept forming little drips at the bottom and I had to sort of wipe them away so my little um, charm isn't quite as smooth as I would have liked it so you just hold it um, with a pair of tweezers brush paint brush it on and then I've just sort of created a little um, holder here and I just slip the ring on and let it hang to dry and give it a, a couple of hours and make sure it's good and hard so that's your liquid gloss changing your um, embellishment all right now the other thing I wanted to show you was the uh, paper rose now I do have as I mentioned I do have a tutorial I just wanted to say that um, um, I changed it slightly um, I used one and three quarter this is the paper that I used so yeah, as you can see you don't have to have exactly the same shade as what's in your card go with a lighter shade of paper and then use your inks to create the um, effect that you want. So I used this paper which is a soft pink from Unforgettable and I um, inked the edges with uh, with Smoothie which is the color of my base uh, paper on the card and that's how I came up with a rose that uh, accented the card beautifully. So I cut my squares one and three quarters uh, by one and three quarters for the rose um, and the difference from my earlier tutorial was um, I started out with four squares instead of three and I made two squares that were uh, six petal um, six petal flowers that I glued together into a five petal if you've seen my tutorial you'll understand what that means alright so that's that and the other thing that I wanted to show you quickly was um, how I made the fan on this on this card. So I used the um, the paper from the paper pack Roxy, and this I don't know how much of this you can see. I cut the the trim edge off, and if you've had a chance to look at our paper yet, there's a half inch trim piece that when you cut it off, you can actually use that as a border. So I cut the top three inches off here and then turned it the other way so that my swirls were pointing up. Okay, so I have this piece here. This was the second uh, three inches down on that paper. Um, I then cut a half inch strip of the uh, zebra print and glued it uh, using two-way glue. Um, I don't know where my two-way glue is, right here. I find this Bonding Memories two-way glue works great for holding things down really well. And I, um, I then stamped a border. Uh, this is from the stamp set um, Picture Perfect. Love this stamp set. Um, and I just took the border here and I stamped it on, uh, leaving it a slight space, actually this one I, I left a little bigger space than I would have liked, um, down from the zebra print border. And then I inked the edge, and this is the ink that I used. I used um, Desert Sand to ink my pieces on this card to give it sort of that aged effect. So you just take the desert sand and ink the top and the sides of this 3 by 12 inch piece. It can be slightly smaller, um, it can be 11 inches, however big you want your fan. And then what I did was I took my paper trimmer and a uh, bone folder and you just score every quarter of an inch on here and you can measure that by the end here so I just scored right through and moved it over every quarter of an inch just watch the edge where the um, 
where it's thicker where you glued the zebra print on because your bone folder wants to jump a bit. So let's do a few more. Okay. So you'll do that every quarter of an inch all the way across the whole uh, strip. And then you're just going to um, fold, fan fold along each of those lines. You do the scoring because it's just going to make it that much easier, especially with cardstock weight paper. Um, the nice thing about that is this fan just stands up really well. So as you see, I'm getting this accordion effect, and I would do that all the way down. And then um, at the end, um, what I did was I just put a little dot of liquid glass at the end of in between each pleat, held it together, and I wrapped a little rubber band around the end, and then that um, kept my, um, my fan together. All right, and there was just one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, that I used on this card was our um, color ready craft borders which are kind of awesome if you don't have a, um, a large number of punches for borders or whatever this gives you a great uh, little option they're self adhesive um, I inked I, I put this particular one with the little scallops on it um, and I inked it up with black uh, ink and uh, made a nice little border so these are great they come in um, all different um, shapes and uh, edges uh, for a nice quick border accent. And I think that's it. Thanks for joining me and um, I will see you again soon.